Good day, Crustacean Nation, so from a lot here with another video. Today we're going to be cleaning up this tank here. As you can see, it is out of hand, it's overgrown, and everything's gone crazy. So I've got my trusty bucket here today, and we're just going to trim up whatever we can out of the tank and pop it in there. Got my scissors and my little tongs, and um, yeah, we're just going to jump pretty much straight into it. Sorry for the lighting in this video, it is a bit rough. Um, I can't have my brightness fully up or the light flickers and things. So as you can see here, I'm trimming up a lot of this Ambulia. Um, that has just grown like crazy and it's just taken over a lot of the tank. Uh, the other plant in this tank that has taken over quite a bit is the Rotala. So we're going to start trimming that in a second. Um, pretty much all the other plants I'm pretty happy with. Um, it's just gone to a point where the Ambulia is sort of dying off uh, underneath and it's going brown because it can't get enough light. Uh, as you can see there, there's a bit of frog bit that is quite impressive, and I'll show that off later on. Um, but pretty much I'm just going in there, trimming up stuff. I'm not really bothering to, you know, look into uh, what exactly I'm cutting. I'm just sort of trimming the tops off like a bit of a haircut. Um, it is definitely a good idea to trim up your tanks every now and then, because, you know, the more you remove, the more will grow, and um, it just sort of keeps the tank healthy and uh, happy. Fish in this tank did decide to hide away as soon as I got the scissors out. Um, the Ember Tetris and the Corys just weren't going to show their faces to the camera, um, but that's fine. And every time I trim off a bunch of stuff, um, I try and get it on the scissors and just plonk it out into the bucket, as you can see. Um, but a lot of the time in the top left there, um, it'll just float around and sort of chill out. I didn't actually turn off my filtration system for this because I thought if, you know, the plants all get pushed around into a spot where they're going to stop moving, that's fine. Um, then I can easily just collect them up at the end, which I do. I would also love to give a massive shout out to my Crustacean Nation Patreon. We have three members, Tater Salad, Lefty3213A, and Plague's Aquatics. Um, these guys are awesome, they've been supporting the channel for a couple months now, and I thought I'd give them a proper shout out in a video. If you would like to go ahead and support me via Patreon, there will be a link down below. So I managed to trim quite a lot of that Ambulia, um, there's still some more that I think I get to, but as you can see, the bottom down there is really brown and quite yucky. Um, there's also a lot of bits and bobs floating around because the plants do act as kind of filtration, um, they, you know, obviously catch anything floating around. Um, so this way, you know, the water's going to move a lot better and things will actually make it to the filtration system instead of getting caught in the plants and, you know, chilling out there. At first I wasn't a huge fan of Rotala, um, but actually having it in a tank, I've noticed that it is really cool and I really love how it grows and has all these little leaves sticking off and it looks all spiky. Um, once again, I do apologise for the lighting, it gets very bright there on the Rotala. The Rotala is actually quite green. Um, and as you can see here, this is everything that I've chopped off from the tank. Quite a bit of a hole there, um, mostly Ambulia, but there is a bit of Rotala in there as well. And this is that bit of frog bit that I was talking about. Uh, very, very cool. Really long uh, roots, I guess, on it. And um, I just plonked it in there. And yeah, I think it's going to be a really cool piece. Uh, it's starting to grow more. So after all my trimming, I decided to take the water level down to a water change. That way I can get rid of all the little bits of leaf debris and things like that, uh, as you can see around the edge of the tank. Uh, this tank is a little algae covered as well, so I do need to get onto cleaning that, but you know me with algae. Um, and I just went around the sides doing this, just pretty much grabbing off all those little bits of leaves. And the uh, fish were pretty happy with the tank. And um, yeah, I was really happy with how the tank turned out after a bit of a trim. It definitely needs a proper sort of like hedging or like scaping sort of trim, but um, I just went for a, you know, take down the plants to a shorter level. Um, obviously filled up the tank again and um, everything was working pretty well. Those extra floating leaves that I couldn't quite get were ending up in the filtration system anyway, which means I could just take them out as I saw fit, uh, which I kind of like and I think works really well. So um, that about does it for this video. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I do apologise, it was a shorter one. Um, you may know or may not know that I did lose a lot of footage and things that I was working on, um, so it got me a bit discouraged, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this tank and I do plan to get some more fish for this, so stay tuned for that, and um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one.